Well, 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 I didn't get much time to get my affairs in order. I haven't done much, actually. I've uh, just sold all the equipment and uh, started uh, collecting some baggage trains. Actually, I only managed to go to Valenbraid and Windhold, and now I'm heading to Knudar Castle to get one. Uh, but I guess Sade Leon, the Mare... I think we're gonna go... I think we might skip Sade Leon. We might go Mare Leon and work our way down here, actually. And then the next time, <laughs> the next, <laughs> dude, the Dashorn, man, they're not looking hot. They got one city left and like four or five castles. Five castles, I think. Yeah. They are, they're looking pretty poor. <laughs> Viking power. That feels good, man. But okay, I'm gonna keep on collecting baggage trains. I'm up to three now instead of just one. Uh, I think I could go up to four or five, actually, hopefully. Since we do have a couple of cities. I mean, Jorik's home is mine as well. Yes, it is. I need to get rid of all the villages, though, and also Knud our castle and own some more cities instead so I make more money for me personally. Ooh, I love Valambre. They managed to recruit almost a hun a little bit over a hundred recruits whilst we were on the campaign. Very, very nice. So we're gonna have a little bit of an easier time getting uh, getting some more men back. Um, yeah, we should grab these ones as well. Storm Sisters. Wait, was there no Kraken? We should get rid of the Storm Sisters. They just mostly cost money. Storm Sisters disband. They're not bad, though. I mean, especially now when they're so cheap to hire. But, you know, I'd rather hire my own sergeants than the Kraken sergeants, you know. Since mine are superior. I mean, my sergeants are almost better than the Kraken themselves. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. Okay, so we're gonna go to the castle. And we're gonna talk to Mr. Nude here. No, oh, is who is this? Demonstenegus Augustus. Oh. You might have heard of my exploits. Uh, of Czech rightful emperor on the emperor and man who will one day free them from tyranny. I thought Black Emperor was ruled by Marius Imperius. Oh, okay, it's one of those people. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not gonna get your realm back for you, you, you weakling. <laughs> you, you're gonna have to do that yourself, man. <laughs> Look at look at what I've done! I've carved out a kingdom for myself, you weak puss puss! You have no Viking blood in you! <laughs> I forgot. Um, oh no, wait, I actually got one here already. Never mind, it's, uh, it's my other castle where I have all my good men. That's where we're gonna go. Okay, so first of all... Quiris Yayek. Yeah, that's, that's the ones we wanna give away. Give these guys some more villages, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give all this out and uh, get rid of Knudar Castle as well, uh, together with the two other villages I have left to give out, and then I'm gonna take two of the cities for myself, or maybe just one, so I can take Marileon for myself. I'm not sure, because I think Marileon is really rich. I ah, yeah, I'll make up my mind later. Okay, this is looking pretty good now. I own Jorviksholm, Valambre, Windholm, and Singal, and of course Longbear Lodge since I have all my men there. And the, also my knighthood order, we don't actually want to give that away. Uh, and we don't have that much tax inefficiency, so that's pretty good as well. I think I like that, not too bad at all. Uh, Singal actually brings in a lot of money, 7,800, 3,300, that ain't bad at all. Uh, meaning that uh, we're gonna go plus minus zero, which is uh, not bad at all, especially since I can make a lot more. I'm right now doing some order uh, rivalry quests, I already finished that one, and also doing a bounty quest for the croc, and just to make them a little bit cheaper, because yes, they are cheaper when it comes to renown cost, if you have a better relations with them. It's, it is not just the honor rating that matters. But the honor rating matters quite a lot as well, so like like them in tandem will do a ton to to the the overall cost and whatnot. But uh, I really need to get a campaign going and just go and uh, assault these guys before they start assaulting me. I'd rather be be the first first one to swing the hammer, so to say. They already declared war, so I mean it's not not like I'm being cheeky or nothing, you know. Let's just be proactive. Oh baby, army of 700 men right now. Uh, 43 Ridori, only 30 who scores, 250 sergeants, 150 harry knights, 90 uh, first one and heavy axemen, and 130 axemen. We're not gonna really use these guys much in fighting, uh, that's why they're in the bottom, but I'm gonna use them to replenish the Huskars 
because while well, the Kraken and the Husk cars are going to go down in quite heavy numbers, hopefully Kraken can get a good value out of them, though, before they actually go down. But uh, let's go and see if the Empire are better at putting up a fight versus the glorious Viking Empire. Okay, we got... Ooh, that's a lot of men in there. Jesus, eight, nine, almost a thousand. We're gonna have to be very careful here. They have 51 first volume berserkers in there. That gotta be Ingvar the Lame Legatus, because he is supposed to be a first volume, but he must have switched uh, sides really early on. Uh, there's even some Valkyries and stuff in there. Okay, interesting, interesting. Well, let's besiege and see. Prepare ladders. Oh. It's the only ladders, no siege tower. Isakoma has been besieged, okay. Uh, well, we will attack and then we will go and defend, I guess. One more hour. Oh, Sigmund. Oh, oh, hello. I mean, you probably can't do anything no, to the knights, but the sergeants. Um, wow. The sergeant's strength increased by four? <laughs> Not bad to 39. Nothing to their skills. The proficiencies went up by 10 on each. Not great, but better than nothing. Okay. Um, welcome back, man. Let's uh, attack. Oh, no, I forgot shield and sword. Ah, yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay, this looks interesting. Infantry up front. Oh, let's fall back a little bit. Uh, medic in the back. Archers, cavalry. Bodyguards. Okay. Gotta pick these guys up first. Oh, yeah. My men did that. Okay, this is worrisome. They're in like a nice uh, semicircle or mo moon shape. And that looks like the ladders we need to go up. Okay. I got a feeling this is gonna be heavy casualties kind of territory. Oh, wow. These are some. These are some impressive walls, too. Okay. Well, we can't really do much from out here, so I guess we'll go inside. Make sure these guys are holding the fire. We don't actually want them throwing anything. Not that, uh, I mean, they, they throw really, really well. It's just, it's gonna be like a waste of their lives, you know? Kind of a deal. I'll start sending these guys in. Bodyguards first, and then archers right behind. I'll start picking these guys off one by one. Help lighten the load of my poor dudes. Taking all those uh, crossbow bolts. But those thick shields of the Husk cars and the Kraken should really kind of like m make short work of these guys' bolts. E even the heavy siege crossbows uh, should take multiple bolts to break. Uh, e even just the Husk car shield and should take close to 10 to break a Kraken shield, I think. Or at least 5 plus, so. It should be able to tank quite a lot. How's the casualties looking? Two wounded, that's it so far. That's looking pretty good, I would say. Uh, up a little bit. And you guys could spread out and go forward a bit as well. And you guys could come in as well. Well, this ain't looking too bad, actually. We already got 60 of theirs. Okay, one Kraken went down, but that's okay. I think I'll sneak up here a little bit because they're getting shot from the side. That's what's killing them. Where they can't, where they're not keeping the shields because they're keeping their shields to protect themselves from the people closest to them in the front. I think. Okay, I'm in the herd. 374 are down. I think we're gonna try to push up the walls at least and see what happens. These are very, th or at least this ladder is very, very thin. And we just got reinforcements as well. Oh, no, 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 Anson, Anson, Anson. Oh, I forgot. I told everyone to charge. That was stupid. Kind of getting sick of waiting, actually. I just want to... I just want to get it done! <laughs> um. There we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's not in great shape, but uh, I guess we can push up with that. Why not? See what happens. We are looking at 10 dead, 20 wounded, and 400 lost for them, so we are doing quite fine, I would say. Looks like we already took the walls completely, wow. Okay. Uh, that was simple. Was it like a large amount of Kraken was pushing up, maybe, doing it? I'm not sure. It almost like seemed too easy in many ways. 
can pop these guys in the back. Bet you I'm gonna get hit by someone. Yeah, I, I, I do see slash hair crossbows or bolts going all around me. Oh my god, I'm just missing everything. What? Come on! I can't lead a target ah, to save my life! <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess it's. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. okay. I about to say, I guess it's fighting time. <laughs> there wasn't much fighting being done. Uh, let's make sure you stand still there. The rest charge. I think it's okay if we take some casualties. I just hope it's not too many Kraken. But 20, that's acceptable so far. And we're already down from the wall. So, yeah, we're, we're like at the point where we're gonna be assaulting their their reinforcements. This is nasty though, wow! My man is coming up here from the side completely unprotected and getting hit by both uh, throwing spears and uh, crossbow bolts. But I think they will soon... Ah, they, these guys might actually not win that fight, that's a lot of them. That's a good 30-40 uh, versus like not even 10. But reinforcements are piling in. I might have actually been better off pushing up these walls straight away. It was such a long way for them to come up on the walls that my men managed to get rid of the ones guarding the walls that are with low HP after getting hit by arrows and whatnot. Look at all of the Kraken though. The Kraken are so nasty close combat. It is ridiculous. I think they're so good at close combat because they have those really short uh, steel axes. Or some of them have swords like this guy, but uh, those are really good because even though the speed rating isn't great and even though the damage isn't great, they're so short, so when they're really close to the enemy, they still do the maximum amount of damage. Swords don't do that, if you hit the enemy on the head, uh, with the tip of your sword you do maximum damage. If you hit them, uh, like, mid-swing, so to say, with uh, only the middle of the sword, you don't do as much damage, I believe. Very nice, not bad, and we even got some prisoners, you know what, we're just gonna let them go. Because honestly, I don't really care. We might have to buy some more food though. Yeah, wow. O only the little bit of way we had to go to go here. Like half a day or a day and we're already like out of food. Jesus. They eat like... Well, they eat like Vikings. <laughs> That's not much else to say. There's so many brigands and whatnot in here. Because uh, this is where they kind of spawn. Uh, I don't think we want to take any of these really i mean the the armored longbowmen aren't bad but they're not like they're not really worth taking to be honest okay mm. i'm gonna defer appointment for now so i don't have to own the villages and get a bunch of uh, uh tax inefficiency bull bull oh yeah oh I gotta give it to me myself before I can check that. Lots of ladies, Stuart, Sir Darling of Pendor. Who? Greetings, Paladin the Sheep. Oh, oh, it's, this is one of those guys I want your help. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think they're weak. They're weak. Okay, so, time to defend... Where was it? Isakoma? Yes. Head down to Isakoma and see what's happening. I mean, technically, we could maybe try to take Sadaleon on the way down as well. But... Um, now nah, we might want to hurry up down there. Mm, this is bad. The battle has already started and we are fairly far away and we can't really move that fast with this much men. Uh, we'll put Sigmund up again. Oh, Thy Woodson has leveled up as well. Interesting. He kind of belongs up there. Yes, he does. Okay, well, let's make these guys heavies and make these guys host cars. Maybe they will... Oh, estate lost. Hmm. It's a coma to the Bacchus Empire. Well, 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 well. Hmm. I mean, there should be a large army here we could assault. Or they might just head to another... Ah, uh, hello there. We'll attack him. Why not? Farmers have joined him on the side. But that's pretty good, though, actually. Even though they don't have that much cavalry. It's better when the Dashar... Uh, when we fight the Shar and Sardayon, because they have, like, some of the best cavalry. Well, we'll beat him, and then we'll take Isakoma back, and then we'll head to Sardayon. Okay, I shouldn't have been so cocky. Numbers are looking really good now, but 20 dead? Uh, that's not exactly good stats. They This dude had a lot of really good men, like uh, Rangers, Clarion Call, um, 
Phoenix Knights, like all kinds of really tanky cavalry with uh, bows and spears and throwing spears and whatnot, you know? Uh, I really should have I really should have picked a nice hill and just chilled, but instead I kind of like slowly pushed over the battlefield and they charged me midway. Uh, they were in a defensive position first, thinking they would stay in that. I, I pushed forward and kind of got caught off guard in a, in a, on, on a little bit of a low ground so their cavalry could charge right into my, my infantry. Oh, they also have Plague Wardens. Wow. Well, could have been worth 27 permanent casualties. Uh, he did escape. Did we get any? Oh, wow, all the- Oh, no, I forgot to actually buy more food. <gasps> I'm a moron. Yeah, these are gonna run out really fast as well. Rug, back of Rug Knights, Rug Squires. Nah, nah. But yeah, you can see it's uh, quite a lot of uh, good men. Well, that's fine, I guess. We'll upgrade these guys as well. Yeah, a lot of cracking went down, but very few casualties by uh, between them though, so that's good. Well, I mean, we could just take this and then buy more food there and then buy more food in Singal before we hit up Sarleon. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm expecting very few men in here though, but nope, there's already a ton of them. Well, okay, I'm gonna take this back off camera since we've already seen me take this once before, so I don't think there's any reason to to do it again so 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 quickly, so to say. I'll I'll show you if anything very cool happens, of course.